The port town of Nysol, a large coastal settlement on the edge of the uncharted sea. It is the main gateway into the Ondarian monarchy. Though there are many in the town who are of course hard-working, honest folk, there are some areas where the less reputable citizens dwell. These are the crews of the many vessels belonging to the buccaneers that roam the area in search of treasure, and whom have a flair for exploration. You yourself are a privateer, between employment, and you have decided to have a taste of the action for yourself. Setting your sights on distant lands, you find yourself wandering through the merchant quarters towards the dockyard, where you arrive at an inn, and hopefully your ticket out of the monarchy to a new and exciting adventure. Welcome to the port town of Nightsong, my friend. Are you staying here long? Ah, looking for a ship, are you? Well, you're in the right place. The name's Retson. Jim Retson. I'm a former sailor myself, and now an innkeeper of this place. Welcome to the rusty halibut. In here sits many a captain looking for a crew. I'm sure you can find one for whatever adventure you seek. For example, Captain Argreaves over there, he's looking for a crew. Says he's off to a far off kingdom where they say if you listen, the wind whispers to you. Not your bag, eh? Look, have you ever had much experience as a sailor? Still want to try your luck on the sea, eh? I've seen many an adventurer like you before. I'm surprised you aren't travelling southeast to Gebora. What with the news they've discovered the crown of the Tyrant King? Oh, I see. You don't care about that, eh? Well. However, an envoy of the monarchy is on their way to retrieve it anyway, so I doubt it will be there once you reach the city if you left now. So, anyhow, you're looking for your own adventure, eh? First, do you know anything about the Uncharted Ocean?
<laughs> I thought as much. Nothing. And don't give me that blank stare. The name is a misnomer if ever there was one. The uncharted ocean is in fact very well charted. We have trading routes all over the world. One of our biggest routes is the port town of Tiv. Look, please don't interrupt me. Now I've forgotten what I was saying. Eager thing, aren't you? I bet you were an handful as a child. Look, to no adventure, you need to first know the uncharted ocean. As I said before, it's very well charted. We have trading routes all over the world. Yes, I know I've already said that, but it's important to know this. It will help you decide where you want to go. Now, we have several routes you can follow. As I said, head north and it will take you to that land I mentioned earlier with the magical winds. Head west and you arrive in the land of plenty as they call it. I don't know much about it, but it involves hard work. Not your bag, eh? Well, you my friend need to travel east. The land of fire is your best bet. They say there are dragons and wyverns who guard bountiful piles of gold and jewels. If it's adventures and riches you seek, that's the place to go. If you're willing to work your passage, there's one captain mad enough to go. The route is that dangerous. His name is Captain Wilberforce Tellers. And when I tell you to approach with caution, I mean it. Sit yourself down. Now, tell Captain Teller what he can do for you. <laughs> oh, you want passage to the land of fire, do you? Do you know about the land of fire? It's a dangerous place full of naughty dragons and even naughtier fire folk. Ooh, 
you hear that naughty wind? It's the wind that blows over the Kindreth moors of a winter time. I do say as how if you put your ear to the ground, you can hear the wind blowing through the other luggo. <laughs> Did I tell you that I'm a poet too? I wrote a piece about my long lost true love. You'd like to hear it, no doubt. Either way, you're going to hear it. <clears throat> or nark and glued, the clued and garly by, farn duple, fark and dipe and grubbly glar. Be near the clatted, grubbly boys and guy. <laughs> Broadly on cleat, thy ripple, slip it gazy down. <laughs> I take it by your blank stare, that's the best poem you've ever heard. Don't act so surprised. I'm well known for my sonnets. Either way, if you want passage, you have to work for it. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. It will take a month to reach the Feuerlands. First, we have to travel through the treacherous dead man's folly. You know about that. No. It used to be an island until the volcano erupted. It destroyed the island, turning it into a treacherous pile of rocks and reefs. What do you mean? Why don't we sail around it? Where's the fun in that? You're a real landlubber, you know that. No, to get to the land of fire, you have to go straight through it. It's the law. Next, we sail past Dead Man's Cove, where many ships have run aground due to the raging storms that swell up in the area. We can't sail around it due to the fact that some of the storms grow to enormous sizes. No, again we must travel straight through. Next we pass. Oh, you want to guess? No, it's nothing to do with a dead man this time. No, next we pass through the gates of Hades. It's a landmass with a 5,000 meter high cliff face. A 15 mile long cutting splits the landmass in half. We sail through it. I'll leave its dangers as a surprise for that part of the voyage. If we survive that, we arrive at our next destination. This will bring us into the inner sea. Well, it's more a very large lake, but it will still take several days to reach the shore. Then we must travel past. Yes, I know. We have to travel past a lot of things. I'm just telling you the most dangerous parts of the trip. Ha ha ha! The look on your face. Where's your sense of adventure? You want 
I go to the land of fire. We do things my way. Anyway, when we reach the other side of the lake, we arrive at the Abinson River. But they do say the Abinson is haunted. Haunted by ghosts and ghoulies and other things that go bump in the night. Things that would turn your hair white and make your own mother turn in her grave. Such is the ghostly hauntings of the Abyssin River. I've seen things, I can tell ye, that will make your bones quiver in the skin and your blood turn to ice. Yes, the Abyssin is truly haunted by ghosts, ghoulies, and demons of the night. Only a truly brave man will set foot. Or even a mad man. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? What, you don't want to travel with old Captain Tellers? What about that treasure? Ah, uh, that got your attention. Looking for riches, aren't you? The dragons and the wyverns are the guardians of the treasure. But don't fear them, they're none too brief. think I got my rings and other items. Sold them straight from a dragon's den. Crept in and out without it ever noticing. Go find it easy. Hmm. So you're interested with sailing with the captain after all. Good. Good. We sail tomorrow afternoon. Meet me here outside Doris the Alibut, and I'll take you to the ship. Have a good rest, my friend. We have a long journey and a lot of hard work ahead of us. Bosun. It looks like we've got ourselves another adventurer looking for treasure. They want to go to the Fire Islands. Yes, we know the dragons are far more intelligent than we make them out to be. That's all part of the plan. You know, the plan where we lure unsuspecting travelers. 
Once we land, we send them into the Dragon Lord's den as a sacrifice. It is after all how we keep that part of the sea safe from them. I wouldn't want a repeat of the ancient Dragon Wars after all. Don't you worry about that. They won't know anything by the time we run them racket aboard. Don't forget, we take the most dangerous routes on purpose. Not because they're fun, but because they will help to tenderize our friend before we arrive. The dragons don't like their meat to be tough, after all. <laughs>